the highlights to me of this meeting is that uh, the next wave of CAR T cells uh, therapies that are going to look at these different ways of preventing the toxicity or are working at antigen escape or how do we tune the immune system to become more effective to treat and make the therapy more effective is to me the highlights in that uh, context. Um, it, uh, it is going to be a regulatory, very difficult uh, to advance this from early phase one trials, two trials into registration trials because then um, the uh, new uh, wave has to then be benchmarked against, let's say, quote, standardized CAR T cell therapy that we, we have now in Europe. Immunoth immunotherapy is clearly going to make a difference the way how we treat hemological malignancies. It has to be seen um, if uh, bispecific constructs versus CAR T cell therapy which of them is going to be more dominant. And I think it's going to be depending on the disease that we are treating. And the second one is that we have to think about how can we combine these therapies because it is not really that these two therapies are just against, sizing against each other. They actually can be used together. Particularly if you're talking about antigen escape, so we may have a method with a bi-specific to debulk the patient more effectively, and they come in with a different uh, target uh, in these cell malignancies with a CAR T cell therapy. So I, I would envision seeing a combinational therapy uh, being uh, the way to go with different modalities uh, long term for immunotherapy.